Hi friends. I hope you don't mind, but I had so much fun this past weekend sharing this message with a phenomenal group of women that I thought you might enjoy it too. And it's so good that I had to video blog it. Um, who knows? Maybe this will become a regular thing on Faith to Shine. So I don't do anything shallow around here. Um, in fact, I want to talk today about the internal wrestle that we all do around the subject of beauty. Ready? <laughs> Have you ever found yourself in one of those situations where the shouldas and the couldas and the not quite goodas pour over your mind? Yeah, me too. Um, it happens often for me in the mirror. Um, pictures of what I had hoped for lining up next to the reality I'm seeing in the mirror. Um, it's happened to me meeting an old friend for lunch. <laughs> It has even happened to me in the grocery store next to the lettuce. Um, it's that moment where beauty feels elusive, impossible to attain. The comparisons really become a prison and it's defeat at its finest. And we're so good at it, aren't we? I mean, we mask that internal storm around beauty so much and so well. We wrestle with thoughts and critiques about ourselves, things like, I'm not pretty enough, I don't have the right hair, I'm not smart enough, um, I'm not rich enough, I don't have enough faith. We also um, take it to another level and say things to ourselves like, well, I haven't attained that goal yet, and I haven't achieved that dream, and I haven't yet attained that status. Oh. Um, yet, <laughs> we are so quick to praise the girl next to us for her status, for her achievements, for her hair, for her outfit. Can I be honest? We know in our heads, we know this, that God calls us beautiful and we can talk about that. That's easy. But what we don't do is we don't practice this for ourselves, especially when we stand on the scale or sit next to that girl. In our society today, beauty is praised as an accolade. It's a means to an end, right? Our value is measured next to someone else's gene size or their brand of car or even their achievements or status. Can I let you in on a little discovery? That trap is not comparing. It's really evaluating and that hurts. The definition, this is what I found, the definition of comparison is simply to identify, to make a list of similarities and differences. That's it. The definition of evaluation is to determine value or worth. When we start comparing and measuring our faults against her successes and her victories, we really are evaluating our worth. You guys, our worth was already determined at the cross. Jesus said, you beloved are worth more, so much more than a flock of sparrows. God knows everything about you, even the number of hairs on your head. Beauty isn't what you do. It is who you are. David, David, the famous David, <laughs> wrestles out this exact thing in Psalms 139, and I'm going to read it to you out of the voice translation. Verse 1, O oh, Eternal One, you have explored my heart and know exactly who I am. You observe my wanderings and my sleeping, my waking and my dreaming, and you know everything about me in more detail than even I know. Verse 6, It is the most amazing feeling, God, to know how deeply you know me. Inside and out, the realization of it is so great, I can't comprehend it. Verse 13, for you shaped me inside and out. You knitted me together in my mother's womb long before I took my first breath. I will offer you my grateful heart. For I am your unique creation filled with wonder and awe. You have approached even the smallest details of me with excellence. God, your works are wonderful. David stops and praises God for himself. He praised God. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. It was a conscious decision, an act of will to ignore insecurities, to ignore, to silence the evaluations and worship God instead. 
the one and only hindrance to you being the beauty that you were created to be is this evaluation comparison trap. It takes your eyes off the Father and it puts it on yourself. You are so much more than those evaluations. You are chosen. You are lovely. You're delightful. You're precious. Your righteousness, you are a display of God's splendor. You are worthy. The word of God is your key out of this trap. I have been plastering three by five cards to my bedroom and bathroom and kitchen um, for years. You guys, there's breakthrough in this process of praise. I promise you. So here's the giveaway. Here's the good part. Um, the first 15 of you who comment below with a evaluation lie and the counteractive truth in your comment below, put your name, your email address, and then, um, put those two things, the, de the devaluing, the evaluation lie and the truth. Um, and I will send you one of these beautiful little things. I'm so excited about them, you guys. Um, they are a little note card set. I'm going to call them an identity booklet. And you can write on one side um, the lie and then on the inside write the truth. So to the first 15 of you, you guys, I love you. I'm so excited. And I pray that God's heart um, just pours over you. That as you seek him for the truth and you find yourself in the reflection of his eyes. Bye.